Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I really do apologize about my other journal collection video. Um, I know that my fan is like going crazy in it and it's probably going crazy now. Um, but I keep my fan on because it is like white noise and it um, makes me feel safe. Um, so yeah, so anyway, today I'm going to be showing you my blank journal collection, which as you can see, is rather large. Um, so let's just hop right into it. So here's my first one. I got this one as a gift in 2007 um, when I was a kid and I wrote in it a little bit. Um, there's some pages ripped out, but um, I, <sighs> I ended up not using it. I ripped the pages out that I did. I like put crayon stuff in here. I don't know, but I've had it since 2007. It's a Mead journal. Um, and it's lined and yeah um, I also mentioned in the past that I was thinking about saying like what time of the year I would use my journals or what instance I would use my journals um, so I'm going to do that and this one I would probably use in the summertime probably more towards like August though like back to school time I don't know something about that just I don't know. Then we have this one. This one my mom was given um, as a surprise um, my, at my dad's work. They were doing like um, like baskets that you could win and he won this one and this was in it and he gave it to my mom like all the stuff in the basket and she didn't want this so she told me I could have it. Um, so I love the silver edges. Um, so, yeah, this, I, I got this, and I, th I would probably use this during winter. It's lined. Um, the line spacing is very large, so that might be a little bit annoying, but then again, I'll probably fill it quickly. Um, this one's brand, I don't know what the brand is. The brand isn't on it, but it's, um... It's very pretty. I'd probably use this in winter. It's like not like Christmas time or maybe Christmas time, who knows, but um, I don't know. Something about the silver, the white, and the blue. It's just wintry to me. Hmm. Then we have this one. This one I made myself. It's made out of a cereal box. Has this little tag on it, which is ripped now, which is sad. Um, and this one has pink pages. It lays extremely flat because I sewed this stuff in here incredibly horribly. Um, so, so yeah, that's this one. And I would probably, um, use this one, hmm, um, like Christmas time because of this. Um, but then I would probably let it lead into Valentine's Day, if that makes sense. Because of the pink and the red, you know. Okay. Then we have this one. Uh, this is one that I also made myself. And this one just has white paper in it. And um, this one lays flat too. But I think I did better on the binding in this one. Um, but this is definitely a summertime journal. Like, I, I don't think there's any um, contest for that. Okay, then I have this one, To the Moon and Back. This is that Michael's Journal. It's lined. Um, you guys all probably know the Michael's Journals by now. Um, I've written in one before, but I have plenty here right now. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, so yeah, it's just lined, soft cover. Um... This one, um, I got this one in on June 4th, 2019, and it's just, I love these journals. I loved the first one I did, and I did that over a year ago, um, almost two years now. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's such a long time ago. 
wow okay anyway but um when I got that that book um my boyfriend had told me I had asked him which one I should get but he didn't respond in time so I ended up getting that one and when he finally did respond he said to get this one and so uh, I think it was like six months later I went back and I got it um and now as you can see I've spiraled out of control with my journals <laughs> um then we have this one I got this one the same day June 4th 2019 same kind of journal from Michaels and I think a lot of people have this one um, it's very cute. Um, I would probably use this, um, around Valentine's Day, um, when, like, an anniversary, I don't know, you know, something like that. And then we have this one. This is from Walmart, and I wrote in one of these in 2017, in the beginning of 2018. Um, I got this one June 7th, 2019 from my old neighbors who are basically honorary grandparents to me. And I love these huge books. They just have so much room. You can put anything in here, like a piece of paper with something important on it. You can just stick it in there. And I love that about it. Um, this one I would probably use when I have something to plan, um, something really big you know, like a wedding or, you know, like planning a baby, you know, something like that, that really takes a lot of room and space, um, to get right. And then I have this one and I got this one and these three, as well as one I've already written in before. Um, I got this from Barnes and Noble on June 8th, 2019. These were actually a gift from the same neighbor who gave me this spotted one. Um, it's just lined. It's got a little pocket in the back. It's very cute. Um, yeah, this is from Barnes and Noble. These three are from Barnes and Noble. Um, and I got them all on June 8th, 2019. And I think it's really cute. Um, I would probably use this in the summertime. My birthday is in the summertime and the bright colors. I don't know. Just makes me think of summer. Then we have this one. It says refresh on it. As you can see, it's got recycled paper. Um, ah, sorry. Um, lined paper. And it's absolutely huge. Um, everything is recycled. It's, it's gorgeous. I got it at Barnes & Noble. I would probably use this when I move out or I go on some sort of trip alone or, you know, some something new. Like I refresh, you know, something that's like refreshing, if that makes sense. But it's very big, so I feel like this is going to have good stuff in it. I'm just waiting for the right time to use it. Um, then we have this one. This is a holographic one. You can probably tell. <laughs> um, and this one I got at Barnes & Noble as well. This is a Bandio, Bando, Bando. Oh, I should probably tell you the brand of these. Um, this one is Eco Jot. Um, and this one is, I don't think it says, no, it doesn't say, but I got this one at Barnes & Noble, if they still have it. Um, anyway, back to this. Back to this. Um, this is Bandio. It's lined. It has a little space for the date on the top. And right in the middle, it has this beautiful, like, sheet of holographic, um, material. And it says it will all work out, and I feel like... I need to hear that sometimes. But yeah, this one's very, um, I don't know. I feel like I'd have to use this at like a very chaotic point in my life. Um, you know, where I need to hear that it'll all work out and you know, the cover will reflect how I'm feeling. This one collects dirt and fuzz like crazy. Um, so this one is gonna be difficult to use. Um, I'm actually thinking about using it next. I know that I'm 
my um, wrap up video for 2020. I said that I was going to use a different one, but I'm actually considering using this one. I only have six pages left in my current journal, so I really need to decide quickly. But this is a Baron Fig Confidant journal. And the reason why I'm thinking about using this is because I have always been into minimalism for so long. Not always, but for so long I've been into minimalism. And I really don't think that I've fully embraced it. And um, I'd really, really like to. And I think that this would be a great one to kind of um, you know, take me there, um, or witness it, I guess you could say. Um, it's dot grid, and I really can't wait to use this one. Um, I got this on August 17th, 2019, and for some reason, this one just reminds me of a, a dish that I really like that I'm actually thinking about making today. Um, called mushroom stroganoff and I don't know why but I've literally already put the recipe for it in there so um <laughs> yeah I don't know this one just gives me such cozy winter vibes so I may use this next then we have this one it says I regret nothing I thought it was gonna be this like what is that called crushed leather um but it's it's cardstock um, I got this one on September 14th, 2019 from Amazon, and it is from the Frantic Meerkat. It's just lined, um, I don't know when I'm gonna use this. I feel like I have to use it when I'm feeling angsty about the world, because it really, it looks like rustic and blah. Then we have this one. Um, this is honestly a really cheap um like binder thing and it comes with these weird papers i don't know i don't know about this one i'm genuinely thinking about getting rid of this one but i don't know um but i got this one on the 14th of september 2019 from amazon and i don't know it's it's not ugly but I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. I'd probably use it during summer, like late spring, early summer. It has seashells in it. it, has Mickey Mouse in it. I mean, I don't know. I'm probably gonna use it, but we'll have to see. Then we have this one. This is a Scrivwell. I got this from Amazon. Did I say that? I don't know. This is a Scrivwell, um, just regular white journal with dot grid paper. Um, and this one I got on May 16th. Oh no, September 14th, 2019. And then I decorated it with these stickers on May 16th, 2020. And these are called chop stickers. And I used to love these stickers as a kid. Um, they're like stickers with liquid in it, and they have like little characters and little tiny things in it. So I bought some online, and I put them on here, and I think it's really cute. Um, but I don't know when I would use this, in all honesty. Um, it's kind of just like an all-around journal, to be honest. Then we have this one. This is a Stitch journal from Disney. And every page has little stitches on it. It's all the same pictures on the sides, but it's so cute. Um, this one, um, I really like this one. I'm actually thinking about using this journal this year. I was thinking about maybe starting it around March, but I'm not positive. But it's so cute. <sighs> then we have this one. It says art starts here. I got this for Christmas 2019. The pages are just blank and brown. I've used a couple of these. I used both of them this year. My Thanksgiving journal was like this. Um, I might cover this that says art starts here. Um, 
I don't know. I don't really feel like art starts here. Like I'm not painting or anything in here. So I know that writing is art, but you know. Um, but yeah, I don't know when I would use this. Probably in the summertime because it has like these pretty designs. Then we have this one. This is the one that I was planning on using um, next. I still might. I don't know. I'm still deciding. I got this one for Christmas, um, 2019, and it's dot grid. <sighs> this one just feels so like fresh and crisp, but I really don't know which one I'm gonna use next. Do I want like a fresh and crisp feeling or do I want a cozy feeling? I don't know, we'll have to see. But I'm excited to use it either way, whenever I manage to use it. Then I got this one. Um, it says she believed she could, so she did. I got this on Valentine's Day this year from my mom. She got this for me, um, and it says she believed she could, so she did. Um, I don't know when I would use this. This one, honestly, maybe like autumn. I don't know. I don't know. I need a drink, guys. I need some water. Sorry guys, my water bottle makes some weird noises. Um, then we have this one. It's a little unicorn with fluffy little tuft and some sequins. This one is just lined. Um, and I got this one on April 11th of 2020. And I don't know, it is so cute. I don't know when I would use it probably like back to school time that time just kind of reminds me like it's nostalgic to me and i feel like this kind of gives off nostalgic vibes and the pages are like yellow a little bit so it feels like it's aged a little the pages are thin so it feels like school paper almost so that's that one then i have this one it says wonder on it i got this one april 12 2020 which was easter and the, they're just lined pages. It has like a gold edge. I forget what that's called every single time. This one is very interesting to me. I feel like this one is going to include something spiritual almost. Um, yeah, I don't know. This one kind of intrigues me. I don't know when I'm going to use it. Maybe like... I don't know. Hmm. Maybe like October, like Halloween-ish time? I don't know. That's a good question. Oh, this one I have to put a cover on, but I should show you. It's just gold. Um, but I don't keep the covers on them. There's a couple like this. There's this one and one other one that's like this that I don't want to keep the cover on when it's all stacked up underneath of other books so let me do, do, do. if this would stop taking forever that'd be great <laughs> okay here we go we're getting somewhere we're getting somewhere okay here we go okay it says i see great things and it has this holographic glitter in it so cool so cool um and i really like this one um i got this one from target um on august 22nd of 2020 and as you can see i've accumulated a lot more journals since august but i'm taking a break from buying journals <laughs> um yeah so um yeah this one is very pretty um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's got line pages. This one is from UB. Um, I don't know when I would use this one. This one just feels kind of like one you have to be in the mood for, if that makes sense. Like, you have to, you have to be like, oh, that one. That's the one I want to use. I don't know. So that's that one. It's gold. It's pretty. Now these, um, are all composition books. And guys, I have to tell you, I am a nerd. I watch marble racing videos. 
Um, and so, um, each of these has a Marble Racing Team logo on it. And listen, um, you can judge me all you want, but I really enjoy it. I think it's cool. Um, and it's called Gels? Jellies? I don't know. J-E-L-L-E -L -L -E, and then apostrophe S. Marble Races. And I think it starts in like June. They have the Marble League, which is basically like, they used to call it Marble Olympics. And I've, I've really enjoyed it. And my boyfriend and I like sometimes watch it. It's, I don't know. It's cool. Um, so this is from one of the teams. There's teams of marbles, guys. <laughs> so this is for the Raspberry Racer team. This is for the O-Rangers. This is Chocolatiers. This is Minty Maniacs. Oceanics. And Team Mo Mary. Um, and these are just all composition books, but um, I plan on maybe using this like um, when the season starts. I don't know. I want to use them all at once so they make like a little rainbow. I think that'd be cool. <laughs> now you guys know I'm a nerd, so you're welcome. Then we have this one. This is just like an ivory colored one with a little strap around it. It's not the highest of quality, but you know. Um, I got this off of eBay, so I don't know where it's from. Um, there's no brand on it anywhere, but I got it on October 8th of 2020, and I don't know, guys, this is, I don't know, it's just very simple. So, like, it's colored like vanilla ice cream, you know what I mean? Um, I'd probably use this during, like, the winter months, like January. February. I don't know. Then I have this one. It's just a small little um, Peace, Love, and Elves um, Elf on the Shelf journal. And it has like this cheap lined paper and it's very short, very small. Um, I got this one on October 12th of 2020. I don't know. I just wanted something small and cute that I might be able to use like, I don't know. I don't know when I'll use it. Then we have this one. This is a C.R. Gibson markings journal with strawberries on it and the cover's a little bit puffy. If you guys watch my um, filled journal collection video, you know that um, C.R. Gibson's markings leather at journals are some of my favorites. Um, and so it's got lined pages. Um, well, obviously this one I would use during like holiday season by the way um I, this one i got on october 12th of 2020 and clearly this one i would use during the summer like june and july i i'm so excited to use this one i'm hoping to use this one this year maybe i don't know i also want to use these so i don't know we'll see <laughs> um then I have these, and these three are from Redbubble, and I got them all on October 15th of 2020, so that's where I got them. Um, this is, like, supposed to be, like, rose-tinted glasses, or colored glasses, rose-colored glasses, um, and it's lined. Um, I'd probably use this during the summer. I feel like it, this is very, like, summer vacation-y kind of vibes if that makes sense then i have this one obviously this is a christmas sweater pattern um this one has blank pages i figured that for christmas having blank pages may be a helpful thing you know so you can just paste stuff all over the place and i don't know so obviously this one would be used during christmas time then i have this one this is like arcade um roller skating rink, you know, floor pattern. And this one is also from Redbubble, but it has a grid thing, but it looks weird. I don't know. Um, but I am going to use it eventually. I don't know. It's kind of funky. Um, I'd probably use this around September. I don't know. I get September vibes. Then I have this one. This is just a Peter Popper press 
flowery journal and I got this one on October 17th 2020 from eBay and this one's pretty um I'd probably use this one in like April or May I don't know just gives me like you know flowery late spring early summer vibes I don't know I don't know then I have these three that I got from Michaels on the same day. I actually ordered from them. Like this is the first time I ordered from them. Um, so I got all of these on October 18th, 2020. Um, and these are those soft cover notebooks with the lined pages. And it says I need space on it. And I really, I really thought that was funny because I, um, I'm a hermit. <laughs> um, when would I use this? Um, that's a really good question. Probably whenever I have an existential crisis. <laughs> then I have this one. This is, you know, another Michael's one, line pages. It says, stay humble, work hard, pet cats. And... I just thought it was so cute. Um, I have a cat right now. Um, but, you know, when I move away, I want to have my own cat. So maybe that's when I'll use this, when I adopt a cat or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll use it when I'm still living here. Who knows? Then I have this one. Um, you know, another one from Michael's, Line Pages. Um, and it has a unicorn on it and it says, I'm one of a kind because I am. Um, honestly, I will probably only use this when I'm feeling confident, which is not very often. Yikes. Um, but you know, I don't know when I'm feeling optimistic about myself. Then I have all of these from Redbubble. So these are all from the same day, and I got these on October 19th, 2020. I'm pretty sure they're all lined. But this is like a magic AF, you know, which I thought she was really cool looking. Obviously, this is probably going to be like a, an October journal. Um, then I have this one. And this one is a city in Canada, I believe, and line pages, and I just thought it was really cool, but, um, when I visit my boyfriend, I'll probably use it, because my boyfriend lives in Canada, um, so yeah, I mean, I think it looks pretty cool, I don't know, and then, oh, then I have this one, um, if you guys lived the childhood that I lived, you'll know who these are. Um, this is Frog and Toad from these books that I read in elementary school. Like I said, Red Bubble, Lying Pages. But I really want some nostalgia sometimes. And I think this is going to provide it. Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm so excited to use this one. I just feel like it's so cute. Um... But this one I'd probably use around back to school time, to be honest. Then I have this one. It has just a fall leaf, um, you know, lined pages from Redbubble. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and obviously I would probably use this during fall. I don't know, something about this like light blue and like the crisp leaves. Ah, I just love that. I think that might be the halfway mark. I can't be sure. <laughs> but here we go. Next one. Okay, this one is from Stone It. Um, and this book has dotted paper, but the paper is made out of stone. And I know that there's like controversy as to whether stone paper is more eco. better for the environment <laughs> um, than paper um, but I really wanted to try out stone paper at least once and it feels very smooth it's also very heavy 
I don't know how to explain it, but the paper f itself feels very heavy, and this book feels very heavy. <laughs> but I thought that was really cool. Um, I got it on October 25th, 2020. Um, from Walmart. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's really cool. I don't know when I would use it, though. Maybe the summertime? Then I have this one. It just has birch, birch trees. I believe this is Peter Popper Press. But, let me try to figure it out. Yes, it is. So, I got this one on October 27, 2020 from eBay. And it's very, I don't know. For some reason I get winter vibes from it, even though it literally has like green and it's probably summery. I don't know. I'd probably use this in January, to be honest. I have a lot of January journals, I guess. These two are from Redbubble. Um, so first we have this one, um, not to like make it a big deal or anything, but I am bisexual and I got both of these on October 30th of 2020 and they have line pages, but these are, you know, the bisexual flag colors. So that's why I got that one. And then I got this, oh, pride month, probably. <laughs> um, then I have this one. This is a Melanie Martinez journal that I decorated all the pages of. I have like a little, um, flip through of the empty journal, if that makes sense, on my channel. Um, I don't know when I would use this, to be honest. I'm probably going to use it soon though, because this only goes up to the song, The Bakery. And, you know, I don't want her to come out with new songs and not have them in here, if that makes sense. Um, then we have this one. And I got this one off of Amazon on, got it on November 4th, has black pages. And I have white gel pens already ready for it. Um, I'm really, really hoping that the pens work well. Um, but yeah. I don't know when I would use this. I clearly liked probably springtime because it has, you know, a butterfly and flowers on it. But I don't know. Oh, then I have this one. <laughs> it's just lined. I got this one on November 4th, 2020. And this one just feels so sweet. It's very small, Christmassy. I can't wait to use this sometime in the Christmas season. I don't know. It just feels very cute. Then I got this one. It has black edges. The pages themselves are not black. Um, let's see, they're white. Um, I got this one on November 17th, 2020, and the brand, I don't know if this has a brand, on, oh, it's Typo, and I got this from Cotton On, it's a website, <laughs> and at the end it says, fact, only 1 in 1,305,713 people finished their notebook, congratulations, you're one of them, and then it says, we totally made this up. <laughs> um, so it's just lined and I've always wanted, <clears throat> I don't want to say always, but I've wanted a mustard colored notebook for quite a, quite some time. Um, so I am excited to have one. Oh no. Ugh, I hate that. Um, so then we have this one and I made this one. Um, it kind of looks crappy. Um, so I'm probably gonna put some tape over it because I use Mod Podge, but, um, clearly it, it just doesn't look very nice. <laughs> um, but I decorated every single page with, um, printable washi tape and I made it black and white and like some little dashes of color here and there of red and green, but yeah, so that's that one. Um, I'm probably gonna reprint this and then use tape, like packing tape to like laminate it because I don't like how that looks, and it sticks to everything. It's kind of annoying, but that's that one. Oh boy. Then I have this one. 
My Love Will Never Die. And this one is also Black Pages, but this one's Dot Grid. Um, and I got this one on November 28th, 2020. I am thinking about using this, like, for Valentine's Day eventually. I don't know. And then I have this one. This one also has black pages. It's lined. This one feels very, like, whimsical to me. I don't know. This one honestly feels wintry to me as well. Like, Christmassy, but not quite Christmas. I don't know. That one's a big question mark. Then I got... Ooh. I got these three from Redbubble. So these are all from Redbubble. Um, this one I got on November 30th from Redbubble. These are all lined. I'm pretty sure all of my Redbubble books are lined from here on out. Um, but this is just like a swirled marble pattern. I don't know. Something about it I really liked. Then I got this one. This one's lined as well. It just has a coffee on it. I don't like coffee, but I love the smell of it. So, yeah. So I got this artsy coffee design. <laughs> and then we have this penguin. It's so cute. Obviously, I'd use this in, like, winter time. Oh, this one. I'd probably use this, like, I don't know, February, March. I don't know. But anyway, this one I'd obviously use like winter time, Christmas time, January. I don't know. Very cute. Whew. We're getting down to it, guys. I'm just gonna check this real quick. Oof. I've been recording for a long time. Okay. So, these three and this one I found at Target. I bought three of them. My mom bought me one of them and wrapped it up um, for Christmas. Um, but anyway, so this is not so basic. And the reason why I liked this one was because at the t it has like grid pages next to a lines page. And it has a little like months and days so that you can circle like what day and month it is. Um, I just really liked that. And also, I'm not basic. <laughs> then I have this one, which I... This one has a cover as well. This is my other one with a cover. Um, apparently, I didn't take the tag off of it. So, okay. Let me fit this on here. What brand is this? Let me tell you what brand this is while I'm... Oh, it's just like a Target brand. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, so this one has like star and moon holographic glitter in this like gel um, cover, and I really adored this when I saw it. Um, did I say when I got these? I got these on December 2nd with my mom, like on a late night Target run. This is just line pages, but I absolutely adore the cover. I think that's so neat and the holographic just makes it even cooler, you know? Oof, okay. Eh, I'm trying to take it off. Okay, there we go. And then we have this one. I am fearless and therefore powerful. And this has a quote, that quote, and then it has line pages. The thing that I really liked about this journal, though, is that it has quotes throughout the journal, you know, like motivational quotes. Um... So I really, really liked that, and I love the color of the cover. Um, I'm not a big fan of these, like, spiral things, but it'll have to do. Now, this one is hard to look at. Um, I don't usually use, like, notepads, but my grandmother got this for me before she passed, um, like, years ago. And I got it for Christmas one year, and... I miss her dearly, so I want to write in this one day. I don't remember which Christmas it was, so. And we have this one. Oh, I got this from Little Bindi. Um, and I got it, like, it arrived on December 4th. 
it was very expensive but it has absolutely gorgeous like pockets and inserts and I absolutely cannot wait to use this one year um it is so cool it's a Christmas journal clearly um so yeah that one is is it it, it the right time has to come then I have these two and these were supposed to be um like pink journals um but they ended up being gray um so I ended up they refunded me but they didn't want me to return them so i decorated them this one is just white i really like how this turned out and then this one is rainbow which i think is also really cool and i think it turned out cool and these i got from amazon these are um paper age um i didn't write it in this one dang okay hold on guys sorry um, I got these on December 13th, and I decorated the, um, this one on December 18th, and this one, I don't know when I decorated it, but I got it the same day. Whew. Okay, now these are pretty cool, because these three, the four, these four, I had ordered, and I had to cancel the order because I wanted to remove one of the books. And the customer service agent that I talked to said that if they end up coming, just keep it and you can use this credit on whatever you want. And of course it ended up coming. So um, I got this one. These came on December 17th. And obviously they're all lined from Redbubble. Um, this was so pretty. And they're all Christmas designs. So I'm gonna have plenty of Christmas journals oh oh man i haven't been mentioning when i'm gonna use these these are pretty much all like any time to be honest this one i'd like to use like february maybe this one maybe summer the, and then these are obviously christmas um so anyway back to the christmas journals that i got um so here we go this one's very cute very pastel i really like that line pages you know how it is. Um, then I have this one, and this is obviously another Christmas one, and it says Cry Baby on it, which reminds me of Melanie Martinez a lot. Gingerbread Man is actually one of my favorite songs from her. From her. From her. Um, so yeah, I really like that one. And I got Hanging with My Gnomies. Um, I fell into the gnome craze this year, so. I had to get it, and I feel like gnomes are just going to be kind of like a Christmas tradition for my family now, so why not? Now these, I was able to buy with that credit because they ended up coming anyway. So I was able to get a few more journals. So I got this one, this pastel, it's so cute, I love it. Um, and these came on the 23rd of December, line pages. This gingerbread man one, so cute. Um, line pages again. Uh, these are all literally gonna be used like Christmas time, so I don't think I had to really mention that. And more gnomes, Christmas gnomes. And this is a gnome village. I know it might be hard to see, but eh, there's a little fuzzy on it. Um, line pages. Sorry. You lined pages <laughs> um and there's like little gnomes walking around the little village and these are also from redbubble but the i wanted to try out their spiral notebooks and they look pretty nice they actually have pockets in them so this is like a little yeti hugging a tree which i thought was absolutely so cute um and this one i feel like can be used in winter like not just you know christmas time so this one is so cute oh man and I also got this one because I love stuffed crust pizza. And that's that. Just kidding. Um, but I mean, that that really is like the, the motivation for this one. Um, oof, there's like stuff on these. What is that? Ugh, gross. There's probably stuff in my closet that I have to clean out now. Nasty. Anyway, so I got this because I love stuffed crust pizza. And that's pretty much it. 
Now these I got for Christmas and I ordered, like I, I bought them at an earlier time. So this is like one of those Michaels journals. I got this on November 20th while I was at Michaels with my mother, but it was put under the Christmas tree. So I didn't get this until Christmas. Um, but it has a cute little fox and it's holographic and he's in space and he's so cute. And it's just that regular Michaels journal with the lines. And then I got this one at Michaels that same day. Find joy in the ordinary. Yeah, I don't know. This one just felt very like elegant and I don't know. I like it. And this one I got at Target on December 2nd and my mom bought this one for me and put it under the tree. It says sweet nothings and I really like that the fact that this is a different texture than this. It just it's very satisfying to me that there's different textures. I don't know why. Um, but it has just line pages. It has like important dates. I don't know. It's I like this one a lot. Um, I can't wait to use this, but I don't know when I'm gonna use it. So those are all my regular journals that are blank. Now I'm gonna show you like theme journals that are blank. Um, so I have the regular Q and A a day, um, which I haven't even looked in because I have a QA and a a day um, for like, it says like teens on it, but like I'm able to use it and I'm like a young adult. So I'm using that one. And then after the, th the that one is a three year journal. So after I finish that one, I wanna use this five year journal, um, which the Q and a a day is very popular. Um, so that's that one. And then I have Q&A a day for the soul. And I want to use this one after I finish that other one. Um, there's like crap all over this though. That's upsetting. I'll have to like clean these before I use them. But you know, so this one I want to use, I love the edges on this. So this one I'm going to use after this one. So I'm not going to use this one for another um, eight years, which Makes me kind of sad, but I'm not going to get overwhelmed by it. And then I have Christmas journals. Um, this is a Christmas Memories, our family Christmas journal. And I'm going to use this once I have my own family. Um, I thought about using it this year and, you know, all that stuff. But I, I in the beginning... It says, you know, like, the memories of the blank family. And I don't know what family I'm going to be in, you know. In, and this one spans over 10 years, I think. So I don't want to um, write my last name that I have now because obviously it's not going to be that name forever, most likely. So... Yeah, I, I don't know. And then I also have this one. And this one, I believe, spans actually 25 years. And it's huge. There's places for photos in it. Um, but I'm, I'm excited to use this one one day. I want to use that one when I have my own family as well. <sighs> okay. I think that's everything. Wow, that took way too long. Um... So guys, that is my blank journal collection. Let me know if you think that I should use this one or this one. Um, I'm probably going to be um, switching journals today. So like later today. So I mean, feel free to answer whenever, but just it might be too late. I don't know. <sighs> I'm kind of stressed about it for absolutely no reason. But anyway, guys, I hope that you all are well and that you had a fantastic new year and I can't wait until next year so I can show you my journal collections again. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.